Okay, so we're just going to go over how to draw a square root function in this video. So what a square root function looks like, it is f of x is equal to, is equal to um, root x, or another way we can write this is uh, f of x is equal to x to the power of one half. So let's try and figure out what our domain and our range are going to be. Let's write it here. Oops. Ooh, it's going really slow. Domain and range. Range. There we go. Okay. So our domain. Well, we can't take uh, we can't take the square root of a negative number because we're just dealing with a real number. It's not, they're not doing complex numbers or anything like that. So we know that um, our domain will be anything greater than zero. So say x such that x is greater than or equal to zero. And so let's just think about the range for a second here. Say, let's do an example. Say we wanted the point, um, if we want to find where the, the point x is equal to nine lies. Let's write it down here. Say x is equal to nine. And so a common mistake is to think that um, the solutions of the graph that we're drawing are just going to be equal to the square root of, say, well, 9, you know, if we're at this point. So let's just write it here. Square root of 9 is definitely is equal to plus or minus 3. But that would give us two values, two f of x values for one x value, and that wouldn't make it a function anymore. Um, so what we're doing actually here is we're taking the exponent, when we want to graph f of x is equal to x to the power of one half, we're taking the exponent of a positive number, and that's going to give us back a positive number. So for example, at x is equal to 9, uh, we're going to get positive 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3. We're going to get that point for f of x is equal to x to the one half when we substitute in x is equal to 3. Conversely, if we were to graph, uh, let's say, f of x is equal to negative x to the half, we would get negative 9 to the power of 1 half, and we would get back negative 3. This is a different function. These are not the same functions. I just want to kind of let you know that uh, x to the 1 half is not equal to negative x to the 1 half. All right, these are two different functions. So let's keep going with uh, our original one, f of x is equal to x to the 1 half. Let's put in some other easy numbers. Um, x equals 4 would be another easy one. 1, 2, 3, 4. Because 4 to the power of 1 half would just be 2. There we go. Uh, 1 would be another easy number. 1 to the power of 1 half is just 1 again. And if we start getting values smaller than 0, like uh, one half to the power of one half would be somewhere around uh, 0.7, somewhere in there. As you see, it's just curving into zero, and it's going to just keep getting bigger as you go that way. So let's just quickly draw this. We get something that looks like that. And say, just for uh, just to get the idea out there, if we wanted to graph f of x uh, is equal to negative x to the one half, we would just get negative values down here. We get that value, we get that value, and it would curve back down into zero this way, like so. Right, and we would just be getting kind of a sideways parabola. But just make sure you know that this, this black line up here is the graph for y is equal to x to the half, and this red line down here is a different function. This is y is equal to negative x to the power of one half. So if we turn our attention back to um, y is equal to x to the half, like we were originally looking at, let's find out what its range is. Um, its range is just uh, includes 0 and all of the positive numbers. So we can say it's y such that y is greater than or equal to 0. Right, and if we were looking at y is equal to negative x to the half, well, it would have the same domain, um, but its uh, its range would just be y such that y is smaller than or equal to zero.